Welcome back to DIY No Need to Cry with Ivelisse. DIY easy no mess glitter decor on an unopened bottle. Gift ideas. All the materials that I used for this DIY are listed in the description box below. I bought these mini bottles to show you on because I don't drink and it would have been a waste of money if I had bought the bigger ones. You can do the same thing to any size or shape bottle you want. I'll be giving these to my lovely sister when I'm done decorating them. Shout out to my beautiful sister, Abby. Hey sis, love ya. Let's get started. To begin, you'll need to paint the bottle with the color that best matches the color of the glitter. I used a brush because I wanted to get around the labels without getting any paint on them. Later on, I'll switch to a pouncer brush to get a more even coverage. As always, do this in layers and let it dry in between each one. I covered the label in the back because I'll be putting an initial on it. You could take the label off if you prefer. I didn't bother because this bottle's so tiny that it wouldn't even be noticeable. For the second coat of paint, use the pouncer brush and get as close to the label as you can, but be careful not to paint it. If you do, it's okay. Just wipe it off with a damp cloth or a wet cotton swab. Make sure to redo the edges with the brush until they are completely covered. Once all that is dry, add the glitter, but not just any glitter. I found these when I went to buy more paints and I had to try them out. I did and I had to show you guys how easy and beautiful these are. They're like a glitter glue, but cheaper. You get more for your buck and you can get them all at your local Walmart. And no, I'm not being sponsored by Walmart. I'm just always shopping there. <laughs> so if you don't like glittering bottles because of the mess and the hassle of putting excess glitter back into the containers, this is the way to go. And they are so cheap. They have them in a few different colors. I had to share them with you guys. I'll leave all the info in the description box below. After you apply one coat, let it dry and continue giving it coats until you are satisfied. This is mine after two or three coats. Look at that sparkle. And I have no mess to clean up. I love these glitter paints. Let me know what you guys think. Do you prefer this look or the chunky glitter look? Let me know below. You can leave it as is or add bling wrap to it. I would usually stick individual rhinestones at this point, but seeing as I was trying to make this an easy, no mess DIY, anyone can do as a gift, and I had this beautiful bling wrap that I thought would go perfect, I used this instead. Just measure and cut to size. This has four rows and you can cut them to be singles as shown here. I outlined all the labels. Use Mod Podge and a brush, glue them all around outlining all the labels. Look at this bottle. I'm just in love with it. Can you picture a bigger bottle? Anyone would love to get this as a gift. You could leave it like this, but y'all know me. More bling, please. I decided to add an initial to the back to make it even more special. Using the same wrap, I made the letter A for my sister, Abby. And this is it, all finished. I love, love, love how this came out. So pretty. 
This will make a great gift for any occasion. Birthdays, anniversary, you could put both initials, weddings, you could make a bunch of little ones and give them away as party favors, or if someone got a promotion and you wanted to congratulate them, what would you guys do with them? Let me know. So these are a few examples and ways you can use these uh, glitter glues on your bottles. So you've already seen this one, the ribbon from the Dollar Tree, along with the gold glitter and pure gold acrylic paint. I used the pink, paradise pink glitter without any paint, just straight on the bottle. I peeled the label off the back of this one and I just glittered the glass and I did go over this label as well. And look how pretty that looks. So you can paint them without using any color. And it kind of looks cool because it says barefoot bubbly and so it looks like glitter bubbles. Let me give you a closer look. that one. I painted this one with cool blue and then I put the glitter glue over it which is turquoise and then I let that dry then I put the rhinestones over it and glittered the top with regular loose glitter and Mod Podge. So it's another idea. Guys these are just examples I just wanted to give you quick examples of what you could do and how else you can use them other than this way. And lastly, there's that one. Again, these are just very fancy swatches I did for you guys. <laughs> I was just gonna swatch them on a big bottle, but then I decided why not throw a couple things on them just to give you guys an idea of what you can do with them. For the purple one I used, the purple pansy with the purple glitter glue and bling stickers. These are the flat back curls that you that are sticky. And again, I covered the label on this one and just pearled, pearled all around the labels and up here. And that's it. Remember you can do these to big bottles as well. I just use little bottles to save money because I don't drink, as most of you already know. And I did not do swatches for the red or the silver. Actually, now that I think about it, I did use the red and was not a big fan of the red. That's right, I did do one with the red. I started to and I didn't like it, so I didn't do it. I did not use the silver, so I don't know how that looks. So that's it. Just wanted to give you ideas of how you can decorate bottles because some of you had asked me how do you decorate bottles that are unopened. Um, I will make another video and show you how to decoupage a bottle that's not opened. Thanks again for watching and if this is your first time watching I hope you consider subscribing to get updates on future videos. Please don't forget to thumbs up this video if you liked my DIY. It really helps my channel out and remember do it yourself. There's no need to cry.